Okay, I found some beautiful short ribs. These are going to take the better part of three hours to do because we're going to braise them, brown them, and then we're going to throw them in the uh, in this beautiful little baking dish and put them in the oven and with a little wine and a little uh, little tomatoes in, in the sauce. We're going to braise those. I got some black and white beans, integrated beans. I want to call these friendship beans. And I got some beautiful little pearl onions. Wonderful, uh, wonderful flat leaf uh, parsley, and I am gonna use uh, use some of that. We're gonna just brown in olive oil. We're gonna uh, just salt and pepper them first. Okay, salt and pepper on these little fellows before we brown them up. These are some nice and fat and thick that we're gonna brown them on. on all four sides and salt and pepper them on all four sides. I've got an oven preheated to 300 degrees and I'm gonna leave them in there I'm telling you the better part of three hours. We'll take a look at them and see as we go along but I want these guys just falling off the bone. They can be way too chewy if they're not. And I'm gonna save this frying pan because we may just want to use it in a little while. Never knows when one might need to uh, Put some some uh, gravy together for this, or thicken up the at least thicken up what we're gonna have here as a sauce. I'm gonna throw two cups of red wine. As always, if you don't want to cook with red wine, this is a good Argentine Malbec, by the way. This is really kind of based on a dish that I had close to Argentina and. Uh, in Brazil and thought it was absolutely wonderful. I'm gonna put two cups of wine and a cup of sugar. I'm gonna add another teaspoon of pepper and another teaspoon of salt. A tablespoon of beef bouillon granules. And it goes in a 300 degree oven. You don't want to hurry short ribs. Now I'm going to use these tomatoes. These are diced tomatoes. I'm going to use them with the liquid that's in them. But I'm going to wait a while to see how my uh, how my ribs are doing. I'm going to let them cook down a little bit, and then we're going to add the tomatoes as they get into the last hour and a half or hour. And because uh, I don't want them to cook completely, I don't want to make tomato sauce out of it. Hey, okay, this little guy has been cooking along here now for an hour and a half. We are going to add our tomatoes. Need a decent spoon. We got this one nice 16 ounce can of tomato. And I got a cup of brown sugar. And we're going to add our onions. So they'll cook up nice. Out she comes. Oh boy, that's pretty. That is so pretty. And there they go. Hey, okay, we got the, uh, this meat's been in there about a part of three hours. Great, I've got a quarter cup of flour here. We're gonna go back here to our Our uh, olive oil that we that we uh, brown the meat in. I'm gonna throw half a cube of butter in there, and I'm gonna make a roux. And then we're gonna use the juice out of the meat with all that good meat drippings and red wine and spices that are in there, and a little bit of spices that are in there. Looking good. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful aroma that is. Okay, that's going to come up here. Park itself. Okay, that's going to park itself right there. We're going to make our roux. Get it mixed up. 
take a base turn, we're going to take this cup. We're get down deep in it so we don't get any of the fat. Full cup of the liquid. Yeah, that's pretty. And this throw back on the fire. And since I don't see any grease floating in that, I was able to get down deep enough in order to avoid the grease. I could have used this grease separator, but I don't need it because there's no grease in there. So now we all we got a little bit of olive oil, a lot of wonderful butter. our gravy and it's going to be too thick so we're going to do it again. We're going to take our baster, get down deep. We're going to add just a half a cup to it. Keep doing this until we know we got it exactly the right consistency. Taste it. Need salt. Take this fire down to a simmer. Okay, we got some wonderful, nice, rich gravy going here. We got our beans going here. We got that, and now we got a plate form. We got a timer going off. And we got some tongs. Okay, we're getting started here. We got that little darling. I'm going to also, I need a slotted spoon for this little guy. Don't have a slotted one, but I got, I got a nice big one here. This will do the job. I'm going to ferret out a few of these. Mayors and onions. I'm gonna dress this plate around here with some beans. And then I'm gonna find a ladle. wine gravy right over the top of it all. We're going to dress it up with some parsley that I got here. Just to pretty blade up a little bit. Sweet and sucking up. Just like a short rib's supposed to be. <laughs> 